Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. This is my daily video looking at one of our signals from our stock signal service from Wave5Trade.com. And today I'm going to look at longs, but our members get both long and shorts each day, um, weekly, daily, and 60 minute time frames. And obviously, this daily video is to help you set up, uh, use examples. So, just very, very briefly in our members area both long and short trades so members will just click on potential long trades click on the image download the spreadsheet very very simple and then let's have a look at the spreadsheet for longs so today I've chosen the daily time frame for longs we had a bit of a bounce yesterday futures today uh, still look pretty positive and strong so maybe we found the bottom so we've got to start preparing potential long swing trades and look for potential fifth trades fifth wave trades so let's have a look at the chart of one of the ones I've chosen from the daily time frame today so I've chosen VNDA off the daily time frame for our members uh, the the Elliott wave isolation is pretty uh, self-explanatory down near near the lows and then this is our Elliott Wave indicator suite for the Ninja Trader platform. We do have it for Thinkorswim, TradeStation, and MultiCharts. So when isolating the wave count, now the software automatically labels the Elliott Wave count one, two, three, and four. As you can see, the wave force pulled back into our automated probability zones, the red zone. So that's a 75% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five high into our blue automated target zones at the top there. So one of the filtrations on the scanner um, membership is the 535 oscillator. That's between 90 and 140%, as you can see down here on the bottom there. Also the stochastic crossing over in the oversold zone and the wave four pulling back. So let's have a close look at this wave four pullback. So we've had quite a, uh, a big bearish day, um, recent, some big bearish days recently, uh, th but this has found good support. This stock has found good support and started to move away from that support level. So this was a, a quite a deep pullback. Now we're finding support. We need to be looking for an entry if this starts to move higher. Obviously, we're looking left. We want to make sure we're above this pivot point here. Um, on the left where this indecision doji is so I want to make sure we're well clear of that when we're going along for this also our Elliott wave indicator suite has this 6-4 moving average high the green moving average here so we want to be outside of that for today's bar position as well the stop loss needs to be just below the wave for low about 1611 and the entry at 1818 gives us a risk to reward of 1 to 1.6 into our automated target zone there in blue so very very simple setup we have the scanner membership which enables our users uh, of the Elliott wave indicator suite for ninja trader trade station thinkorswim or multi charts to be able to select and find uh, good potential fifth wave trades uh, for trading in trading stocks so this is the setup for vnda on the daily time frame potential fifth wave trade we're going long at 1818 here outside the six four moving average high and the stop loss is at around 1610 1611 and then the target zones around 2150 so good risk to reward there good looking trade we just need to start to move away uh, with more force away from that support level there where the wave four low was formed so that's it for today have a great trading day and i'll speak to you all tomorrow